Hello everybody and welcome to the WSCT Angry Birds IndyCar Series. Well, this is it folks, the moment you've finally been waiting for. The first race of the season. We're here live at Talladega Super Speedway for the running of the Talladega Grand Prix. Or as I like to call it, the Dega Grand Prix. Ten laps of hardcore action to start off the season. Now, yeah, this is the IndyCar um, race. They'll, every Friday, will be posted every Friday IndyCar, unless if I'm busy or something. And every Saturday, it'll be the F1 series. You'll see the F1 series tomorrow if I have time. Unless I, I'm busy that Saturday, but probably Sunday. But right now, you're watching the IndyCar series race. Hope you guys enjoy the series, and thanks for the support um, here in the P2 series. Um, it's been up and down so far, but we're, getting, we're now getting right back on track with the races you love. Making new series, every, new series and races, and we have like a ton of new drivers, new to the P2 London series. And I can't wait to show their uh, skills in the series, and we'll see some awesomeness and more racing. Anyway... Um, like I said, if I had not mentioned earlier on here in the series, only the top 10 who finish will get the point in every race. The top 10 who finish in a race will get those points. One, the funds of finishing 11th and below will not get points, so keep in mind that. So anyway, now it's time to start the uh, IndyCar series with a bang at Dega. Starting on the pole today is the 98 of Xavier Livingston. On the outside is the 20 of one of our new drivers, Alex Lozano in the 20. Starting third is the six of Ryan Acosta, and fourth is the 68 of a guy you know, probably know very well, Cody Lamas. He is in the series for the first time, so an, an honor to be, have him in the series. Hope he does well. Good luck. I wish to everybody the best of luck in the series. Starting in fifth is the 47 of Colbin Balki, and six is a familiar name, 15 of Connor Breton. You might know him from somewhere. Starting 7th is the 14 of another new driver, Gavin Russell. Oh, can't wait to see him race. And 8th is the 22 of a familiar face, Diego Espina. Starting 9th is another new face, the number 12 of Brody Talley. And rounding out the top 10, the 30 of Carter Magruder, one of our familiar faces here. Other new faces we have is, well, you, you also have Tyler Manson, Evan Gattuso, Rhett Yates, Jacob Cook, Theo Stiegel, you might know them from other series. We have another new driver also, Alex Taylor in the 16th, in the 77th, starting 16th. Let's see if he shines in his debut. Jacob Lawler is also familiar, so is Kyle Livingston, 17 and 18th. Austin Talley is another new member we have. Um, another new driver we have, Austin Talley, the brother of Brody Talley. So it's interesting to see these tallies race. We'll see if these tally brothers can race. Well, we'll see. 19th is Alice Tally. And 20th is Tony Blazer. And the um, WSCT president, Tony Blazer, starts in 20th. Great to have him in the race. And another new face, 21 and 21st, is number 5 of Connor Horn. Another new face. Jessica Lawrence, one part of the C. Britain Drivers, starts in 22nd. You might have heard her before in the Pichu series. 23rd, Jake Baskinger. Um, yeah, another familiar face from the PRWC That Guy with the Glasses Truck series. 24th, Zach Buchanan. You probably know him. Well, he's another new driver in this series, and we hope to... Also, you probably hope to shine here. 25th is Ryan Juke in the number 9. And that's another new face, um... In the, in the um, P2 London races. Hope that, well, can't wait to see him race too. 26, you might know him before. He was the P2 Series co-champion with P2 is Matt McMurray in 26 in the four. In the number four, he's 26. Joseph Clark, Alan is starting 27th yeah, with a 41 car. He's a familiar face. Alec Gattuso starts in 28th. Well, you've heard of Evan Gattuso, but this is the first time his brother Alec has raced in, a P in, a, in the Apichu London series. So, we'll see him race in his first start. We'll see how he does. 29th is the 28th, uh, the 29th is the 28th of Dalton Kelly, another new driver in the series. And 30th is the 81 of Luke Walker. Yep, Luke is back. 31st is the 8 of John Acosta. Uh, you've probably heard of him before. 
32nd is the number 10 of Pichu! You've heard him a lot. Yeah, so Pichu's in this series. And anyway, 33rd is another new face, the 84 of Alex Jones. Great to have him here. 34th is another familiar face, the 19 of Jason Marshall. 35th is the 25 of the NNS CRA president, Seth Cole. He's won a race in IndyCars for once, and now he's going to try to race a win here in IndyCar. 36 is the 26 of Mason Wood, another new face. And rounding out the top 10, uh, rounding out the field is the 37 of Andy Allison, the 13 of Andy Allison rounding out the field. He's also, he also was in the Netflix Nationwide series. So we have some new faces and some old friends you probably know. Uh, I was just introducing all the drivers in the series. I'm not going to introduce starting line. I'm only going to do top 10 starting line from here on out. But I'm just introducing you to all the drivers in the series. To, from some new faces to some old. New names join the old. Yeah, so here we go. You've waited all August to uh, see this. And now, here we go. Without further ado, let's hear those famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! And now you got the command. Ten lap shootout here in the, um... Ten lap shootout at Talladega. It's the opening race of the um, Angry Birds IndyCar Series, WSCT. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, by the way, these uh, cars are in the oval. The oval uh, version. They will race in road course with a road course version, and you'll see them in the coming weeks. But here is the oval race, the opening series of Talladega. The IndyCar would never go to Talladega, but I decided to do so. What the heck? What the heck? What better way to start off than racing at the biggest suit in the world's biggest super speedway? Why not? It's my series. Ten lap shootout and the 98 of Xavier Livingston's gonna lead the field to the green for the start of the opening of the WSCT Angry Birds IndyCar series. Here they come. And the green flag is up! And the season has begun! Oh, we already saw some drivers scrape the wall a bit. Oh, they're alright. Xavier Livingston, the leader. Here comes Ryan Acosta looking to get the lead. Whoa, three wide. They almost smashed each other. And there's that pace car, the purple pace car there. Nice look at it. Wow, it's a really nice pace car. I wish we have those again. Coming off to lead the first lap of the IndyCar Series is going to be Xavier Livingston. Oh boy, they're going four wide, I think, for second. And look at Livingston, he's just pulling away. Wow, how did he pull away so quick? I have no idea. But it's Talladega. I think they'll catch up sooner or later. We'll see. Livingston's pulling off to a huge lead, which is a little shocking. Considering this is Talladega, and it's known for passes. Gavin Russell, though, in the 14, looks to make it, to looks to take the lead away from Livingston. And here he comes, look at him making the comeback. Here he comes to make the lead, move for the lead. He's got the lead now, now there's some challenge. Gavin Russell takes the lead away from Xavier Livingston. But right behind him, going three wide is the 22 of Diego Espina. He knows the ins and outs of, an as of the uh, TA2 series. He's already been in the Nationwide series. Now he's looking to get another win, and this time this series. We'll see. But right now, Gavin Russell is hanging on. Wait a minute, there's some challenge. Now in second is the 47 of Corbin Balki. You've probably heard him from the PRWC, that guy with the glasses truck series. Now he's looking to make a, a big impact on the IndyCar series. He's now in second behind Gavin Russell. And man, these cars go very fast. 226 miles per hour to be exact. 
This is going to be one heck of a series, by the way. Oh, boy, he's on the bumper of Gavin Russell. He can't make the move right now. Oh, boy, this is going to be big. Whoa, I thought they saw them at the wall there, but apparently not. Six laps to go at Talladega, and Gavin Russell hopes to make a big move. Oh, he's on the bumper. He's still going to make his move. And here he comes. Here comes Ga Here comes him. I'm sorry, sorry. Corbin Balke. Here he comes to the lead. Corbin Balke is now the leader. Style side by side. Corbin Balke still side by side. Oh, boy. They're going three wide. They're going three wide. And look who's the leader. Look at that. That's close. It's Ryan Acosta! Where did he come from? Ryan Acosta takes the lead with five laps to go. A caution at this point might end the race. Look at this! Four wide! Diego Espina trying to take the lead. Now they're going to see some Talladega racing. Three wide for the lead! That's big. And guess who's added the picture? It is the 78 of Brett Yates. Ray Yates trying to make a move for the lead. And wow, four wide per second, but Ospina has the edge right now. Oh wow, they almost bumped. Four laps to go with Caution will now in the race. They've reached 230 miles per hour. Incredible. But Brody Talley in the 12 looking behind Ospina, looking to make that right move. And look at them cars. Three. Four wide! And here he comes, Brody Talley, for the lead, with four to go. Oh, wow, Spina shuts the door on him. Oh, it's going to be interesting. Three laps to go, oh, Spina still has the lead. Here comes the pole setter, Xavier Livingston, looking to make second again. Xavier Livingston is now in second. Oh no, he's not. Oh wow, Brody Talley still on the bumper. And Brody Talley's gonna try to make that move. And Brody Talley is still on the bumper of Ospina. I wonder if he will ever make that move. And he will make the move! Here he comes for the lead! Two laps to go! And he, he yeah, I don't know who led that lap, and it was him! He led that lap. Wow. Now in second, it is going to be all oh, about for the lead. Maybe. Jacob Cook. We haven't talked about him in a while. Jacob Cook going for second. But right now, Brody Talley's hanging on. And here comes Brody Talley. And he's going to see the white flag! Will he take the win and become the first ever IndyCar Series winner? White flag is out at the tag at the Dega Grand Prix! And he's got a comfortable lead for a Talladega track like this. Will he hold on to that lead? That's the question. And a four wide battle for second back there. Oh wow, bumper to bumper. Wonder who will get second, but it's all about Brody Talley. Coming off the final turn, and Brody Talley in the 12 is going to win the first ever WSCT Amy Burns IndyCar Series race. And it was Xavier Livingston that got second on that four wide battle. Remember, the top 10, only the top 10 get points in every race. Well, here we go. Here's your final result. Brody Talley is the winner of the, of, the, um, te of the Dega Grand Prix. And the first ever race of the Angry Birds IndyCar Series. 
Second is Xavier Livingston in the 98. Connor Breton finishes third in the 15. Uh, and third, Jacob Cook finishes fourth. Then it's Corbin Balke, the top five. Six is Diego Espina. Seven is Brett Yates. Eighth is Ryan Acosta. Ninth is Jacob Lawler. Tenth is Tyler Manson, the top ten. And remember, the top ten get points from each race. For those 11 and below, well, better luck next race. They'll, hope to, they'll have to look forward to next race in order to get some points for their standing. And these are the best of the rest, like 11 and below. Those are the ones that don't earn points from this race, but they'll try again next race to earn points. The leader, the, the last place car, which was Luke Walker, what a shame, is one, was just 1.2 seconds behind the leader. Anyone could have won it. But congratulations to Brody Talley on becoming the first ever IndyCar Series winner. Next race will be at a road course, our first road course of this season. If I could find it, St. Petersburg. Um, well, it is in St. Petersburg. The next race is in St. Petersburg, which I cannot find. Um, wow. This is embarrassing. Um, wow. If I can find St. Petersburg, then that's the next race. Um, the next race will be at St. Petersburg. They're for our first road course race of the season. Also, don't forget... Our Karoko F1 series tomorrow is our the first race of the season of the Karoko F1 series. Can't wait for that either, and I don't think I could find um, find it. So I'm just gonna settle stop here. So next race will be held at St. Petersburg, and the Indy and the Karoko F1 series opens tomorrow. Next race, tune in next Friday for the St. Petersburg race. Now we'll show you the point standings. Here we, so we'll show you the point standings right now. So here's the point standings and we'll see you later. We'll see you tomorrow for the Kooko F1 series opening. See you later.